Notion is the app of the future. Here's why. I've been using Notion for five years now, and the way the user interface and all of the features of the product have improved is without a doubt one of the greatest things that I have seen in the software space. Personal productivity is my thing. I love it. It's one of those parts of my life that I can't get enough of. And every time I feel like I go on to Twitter in the last year or look at their what's new page, Notion is making massive improvements. Something that's pretty interesting that they're starting to do that I wanted to call out is if you just take a look at the Notion setup itself, if we go to the left side here, you'll see that there are a couple different things that have changed in the past few months even. This calendar is an additional ad which basically showcases Notion calendar and how it works. However, this is a app that's outside of the purview of what you'd expect from Notion, right? It's like an actual different application itself. Whereas when you look at the Notion app itself, they've actually added a few things recently that I want to talk to you about how these could revolutionize and completely change how Notion may become the de facto application for more and more people. First and foremost, they have introduced the public ability to share any page as a not only public page, but as a actual website. We covered this recently, and this gives them the basic infrastructure to say to new people, we have the ability to not only manage your life, but also showcase it in a way that's free. And who knows, they might even add additions to this or paid add-ons similar to what they have with Notion AI and Q&A. Another great thing about Notion that I've noticed recently and how it's poised for the future is that it has native capabilities now across everything that are the building blocks of a better version of becoming an all-in-one app solution. So for example, I clicked on templates here and I have the ability to scroll through without it being in a weird template view that I had prior. Like, I think this is awesome. You have paid templates, you have free templates, you have featured creators popping up on a store inside of the Notion application itself, like me clicking on client portal and then being able to preview them like this is a completely different experience. This new addition to what they had previously is pretty amazing for being honest. I don't really understand how they managed to have it the other way before and me not want something different, but it has the free options. It has the paid options. It's got more than you could ever imagine. And as somebody who is a content creator, those extra templates do give me ideas as to what I could create. And I love the fact that this is an addition to the product. That along with the fact that home exists and while home isn't great, like we, we got definite issues and it's cool that we have the ability to, to see our upcoming events here, but it's not a widget I can integrate in my workspace. I complain about this, but this is a building block for something I can add to my system once it gets figured out. As you'll notice, they're just slightly adding components, layers and layers of components where I think they can make improvements to a couple different parts of what you've seen they've added that would absolutely set them up for a amazing future. First and foremost, I would say that adding a true Google Calendar integration or view of Notion Calendar in any page would be a great step forward because that way you could open up and join with a Google meeting link or other meetings without needing to really uh, go to the home page. Say you do have your own daily planner page as I do. I have made this page years ago and added to it. And the fact that this exists for me is awesome. But if I didn't have to have an automation that automatically synced with my Google account, I could then just have it do its work without me needing to deal with that. But imagining a world in where it has a native Google calendar and just calendar integrations in general. And not only that, but if people recall pretty recently, they purchased a mail app. If you recall in February, Notion acquired Skiff, which is a privacy focused productivity platform, but more specifically, it's called Skiff Mail. It's gonna be up and running through 2025. So this is very similar to what happened with Cron from my perspective. They purchased Cron and it seems like they're going to either utilize Cron in the product or they're going to have that be a connected third party application. Either way, this means that we're going to have something connected that could be email, calendar, knowledge management, and obviously you can make your own task management inside of Notion. They've improved, they've made recurring tasks in the last few years. It's not something they had prior. They've made better use of properties 
they've made better use of many different things like automations in order for task management to be a more reasonable option inside of Notion. So when people make comments like Notion's not a daily planner and it's not one yet, okay, they're one step away from just having like a embeddable spot for your calendar anywhere. They're one step away from integrating a entire mail platform. So maybe it's not the daily planner you expect now, but if you don't think in a couple of years that these are gonna be the things that they move into, I'd be baffled because then they would just be essentially the greatest note taking platform that integrates with mail, calendar, and your ability to track tasks. All of these together are just something that I, I don't think we'll, we'll really see coming because when you take the amazing UI UX of Notion and give it some of the capabilities of even other all-in-one apps like ClickUp, you're going to be baffled as to what's going to come out of it. And I'm really excited for it. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about it today. With that being said, I hope you like this video. If you have any thoughts on where Notion is going to go in a couple of years, I'd love to hear more about it. And I'd love to hear more about what you think about this video and how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.